What it fellas, the Iron Jesse here. I'm back for another LEGO Marvel 2021 Spider-Man set review for you guys. And this time, I'm reviewing the third set for the new Spider-Man way for the lineup. And that is Spider-Man's Monster Truck vs. Mysterio. It's at 76174. It ages 8 plus. It has 439 pieces and 4 minifigures. Now, I got this set at Amazon in January for the lineup. So, without further ado... Let's take a look at the minifigures first. First up, let's take a focus look of this new Doc Ock minifigure. He looks so freaking cool looking. Dear God, I like the new face and torso pretty. It looks like the PS4 version of him from that three-year Spider-Man game. And look at these freaking tentacles. My God. Jesus Christ, it is so cool looking. So, yeah, that looks really nice. And for the stickers, I feel like they are the same one from the 2021 from last year from the Spider-Man vs. Doc Ock set. And he does come with that diamond piece right there and the sack full of money right there, as you can see. So, let's go ahead and take those pieces off of his hands right here. So, here's Ock without the accessories. And he does have that hair piece right there and this is the cool looking Doc Ock so the arms can move in and out and they are on a ball joint and you can open these pieces out and they're also on a ball joint too so Jesus that is really cool looking so and you can stand him up like this if you wanted to and yeah that looks so awesome and I totally like how this turned out well you can Adjust if you want to make him stand with the arms right there. So yeah, this Doc Ock is nice. I like the evil smiley face face pretty right there. And the torso pretty looks so freaking cool looking in my opinion. So and we do get the same classic dark green legs once again. And man, that is so freaking awesome right there as you can see. And here's his back right there. So yes, all six of the arms are attached to the same... Outrider slash Iron Spider slash Mark 48 back attach mid right there. That is so freaking nice. And also, he does have a second face right there that he ex well, he is so freaking screwed right there as you can see, which is really cool looking. So let's take those off if I can. And here we have his back torso printing where you move the arms right there. So the back torso printing looks so freaking awesome in my opinion. So, Jesus, that is really awesome. And yeah, I like the circle parts, the, the silver look. So, Jesus, that is really nice. And it looks so freaking awesome for the lineup too. So, that is it for Ock. Well, some people could complain about the arms still, but it is what it is. Next up, here we have Spider-Gwen. So, this is the same look, but a little update. So, in two years... We got her with this different look of her hood right there from the two different sets from two different years. And this year, same thing as Miles Morales, they upgraded the hood piece. So that's the same piece from the Miles Morales set, but it's in white. So, And she does come with that web piece. So the look of that web for both of these webs are brand new. They're in that clear look, so I totally love that. And she does come with that same dark purple skateboard that the move that the wheels can move so and you can put a mini figure on it right here as you can see so that is freaking cool so the top bottom back side and other side and yes I love the web piece right there that is so freaking awesome so let's set that aside so here she is with out it so she looks so freaking cool okay so the torso printing is literally the same so yes it is the same that we've gotten before in two years. And we can see the rest of the top part of her torso without the old look of the hood right there. So, And the legs are the same way. I wish they could add printing for her toes right there. So I wish they could still do that. So it's still a freaking look right there. So I wish they could still do that. And her back torso printing is literally the same from the two years once for the lineup too so she is really nice well, I like the little update with her hood for the lineup so that is it for spider Gwen next up here's Mysterio so we do get a few updates and some same parts that we've gone before last year so 
He looks so freaking nice right there. And holy crap, look at that fishbowl head is in that blue look. So that is really cool looking. So, and finally they gave him these green power blast pieces. So if you guys don't know how these pieces work, that's how you do this. So you gotta fire them really faster if you want them to. So send those aside. So here he is with out the power blast pieces and I love this flying green piece. So that's the same piece from the hidden side sets from 2020, but they made it in green. So I never gotten this piece before. So that looks freaking awesome. And when you move that, we do get the same green legs right there. So the torso and the legs are the same from that four plus junior set. And even the cape is the same. So this is not a regular cape. They added a junior set and a regular set. So that is really nice, and I totally love the blue look right there. That is so freaking awesome right there. So the torso printing is the same one that we've gotten in that 4 plus set. That looks so freaking amazing right there with the pecs and stuff and the gold eyes right there. That looks so freaking cool. And here we have the back of the cape right there, which is the same look right here. Here's the same back torso printing, which is really nice. And we do get that light gray head that we've gone before and far from home I believe so I wish they could made a Quentin Beck head instead of a blank head piece for the lineup too so he is still freaking awesome in my opinion so that is it for Mysterio and finally we have Spider-Man the new version for this year so I totally like this one so still not exclusive but still new since he does come in this look in the other sets and he does have those new web pieces, same thing as Spider-Gwen, in that different look. So the front part is the same, but the other piece for it is still different. So set that aside. So here he is without the freaking web piece. So Jesus, he is really cool looking. Well, why no dual molded legs? So again, same thing that I said in the Ghost Rider set. Leave this version from the 4 Plus Sandman set for $10. And give us the dual molded legs from... The regular sets including that spider layer set but I love the torso and face print and even the arm printing looks so freaking nice right there so yeah I like that Well, I wish they could put it on the red arms instead of the blue arms but I still like it still but it is what it is it's so freaking cool looking and here we have the same back uh, torso and head print right there that looks so freaking neat right there so that is it for the minifigures now let's go ahead and take a look at one of the builds in this set. So first up, here we have the Illusion Drones from Mysterio or Doc Ock. Well, mostly Mysterio. You do get two of these builds in this set that are the same ones. Now, they are identical to the Far From Home Drones from the MCU. So, to be honest, they should have added these drones from that 2019 Stark Jet set. So... Replace the black ones and put the white ones, which is the most accurate versions in that set. So, yeah, they look identical to the ones from Spider-Man Far From Home. So we have these Conquest guns as machine guns. And we do get two stud shooters right here. And if you lose one of these, they will give you a freaking spare right there. But Jesus, that is really cool looking. So here's the front of the drone right there, as you can see. Here's the top of it. We do get these two stickers right here that I really like. So, yeah, they are alike to the Far From Home version, as you can see. So here's the bottom of it, which is so freaking nice. Here's the side of it. Here's the back of it. And there we have the other side. So that looks so nice, and I really like these drones. Well, I wish they could add that to that Stark Jet set, but they are so freaking nice. So... That is it for the drones right here. And let's take a look of this monster truck. Now, to me and the other people, this is not a monster truck at all. It looks like a delivery van, but it has four big wheels on it. So, yeah, I don't understand why LEGO did that and also, why in God's name does Spider-Man need a freaking monster truck? He has superpowers that he can web sling, he can wall crawl, and thwip bad guys with his webs, and he has spider sets, all that cool stuff. So, But still, why in God's name does he need 
a monster truck that looks like a delivery truck or van that has four big wheels on it. So here's the whole front section. We do get some stickers like on the Spider-Man symbol right there and this part that says Spider-Man on it that I really like and the license plate that says Spider but it has a three on it right there and a one right there. And we do get these light gray clip pieces as the mirrors right there and we do get these yellow lights as the well the studs as the lights as you can see which is freaking nice. Here's the side of the truck. We do get some stickers right here that says Spider-Man also and the web pieces that are stickers for the wheels right there. That is so freaking nice right here. And this is the whole top section right there which is really nice. Here's the bottom of it. Here's the back that has the same license plate sticker right there. And we do get two iron bars on it. And here we have the other side of the truck that has the exact same freaking thing again. So, and also, you can fit only one minifigure inside. So, let me just put my iPad down and take a closer look of it and find Spider-Man. So, again, you gotta put the freaking arms and legs up like this. So, alright, he's in just like that. And let me slightly put the top roof part. Sometimes it gets a little loose. There we go. Now Spidey is in the truck as you can see. So that is so cool looking. And also what else is cool is the gimmick that you can move the truck side to side. So that is really nice. And it does roll just like so. And also we do get... A play feature you see that yellow piece that's sticking out that is for the net launching gimmick so you move this up well out well in and out like this and also we do get a net inside of there so as you can see you only had to use both hands or one well I had to use one since I'm holding the iPad and we fire it like this the net launches out like that. So here's what the net looks like and you do get one in the set. So yeah, that is how you do it. You can do it on Ock or Mysterio on it. So nothing much for this set. So that is all we've gotten so far. And it is taller than a regular Lego minifigure. So that is all we've gotten so far for this freaking set right here. So overall, you guys, I just don't know about this. So this set does cost $40, and I got this on Amazon since I do have an Amazon shopping app on my iPhone 11. And this was the first time I got in my own Lego set from Amazon. Well, about this, I just don't know. Why in God's name does Spider-Man need a monster truck? So, he does have superpowers that we all know. And also, why does the truck look like a delivery van so yeah a delivery van with four big wheels so I just don't get it why do they do that well I like how you can move it side to side the net launching piece and we do get a white net in the set that's a web right there love the stickers on the side right there and you only had to fit one figure in there so Spidey is still the same and we do get a little update for Mysterio and Spider Gwen right here so they are the same well some parts of them are different like this part right here and the new hood for spider gwen and doc ock is brand new i like the new tentacle pieces right there well some people could complain about it well it is what it is i like the front and back torso printing and the two different face prints right there and i love the drones right here so they are identical to the far from home versions you do get two of them and they are accurate from that movie. So they are the illusion drones from Mysterio. So i glad they made these because these two should have been in the Stark Jet set. So it is what it is. And they look so freaking awesome in my opinion. And Jesus Christ, they are really nice. So only the good part is, well, the new Aqua, the tentacles could be identical. And also the drones right here. That is one thinking of the good parts for the set. Well, the truck is nice. Well, I just don't understand why it looks like a delivery van, but not a monster truck. But 
I wish they could make it into an actual 